Yo, we're back at Big Special's house, and you know, uh, with all the trans fats and things like that going on, you try to make some healthy choices for snack foods, and I thought I had one here, Quaker Crispy Minis, the butter popcorn flavor. You know, it's a light, fluffy snack. It's good for you, man, and it tastes good. But mysteriously, I found something like this in my bag. It's not the snack, it's hard. It like chipped my tooth. You could like, I don't know man, it's very dangerous. I found this in my bag and I'm not really impressed. And it's like how can, you know, you find something foreign, some weird hard, who knows what it is inside the bag. And we're gonna contact the people at Quaker and uh, see what's going on with the crispy mini mystery. Let's do that. We got the customer service. It says questions or comments, call 1 800 267. All because of this the Quaker crispy mystery. We're going to get some answers for you. And they're good, man. I like them. Our representatives are currently busy assisting other this consumers. Please remain on the line, and your call will be handled by the next available representative. Maybe other people found some of these stupid things in their crispy minis too, man. I don't want to be responsible if they get taken off the market, because I like them. I like them a lot. Hello, this is Michael. How may I help you? Michael, how are you today? I'm well. How about yourself? Good, thanks, man. I bought some... uh. Uh, Quaker Crispy Minis the other day mm -hmm. and uh, I was eating them and then I noticed there was there was one piece that was like uh, a flat circular object and it's like brown and really hard mm. yeah it's like a little like sort of like a circular disc it's weird man like I like bit into it before I even looked at it and I was like WTF yeah, I, just, I definitely want to get some information about this. It's something that our quality assurance team takes very seriously. And again, I apologize that it happened at all. What I'd like to do is get some, some information from the packaging. Still have that in front of you? Yeah. I'd like to start with the barcode. That's what they scan at the store. All right. So it's a long number. It'll start at 30,000. 30,000. So. Wow, you write that so small. It's three two seven five one zero seven nine nine zero two. Actually, do you have the outside packaging? Is that the individual package there? What do you mean? I bought an individual package. Okay, where, where did you buy? I don't know. The Walmart probably. Um, Isn't that where everyone buys groceries now? With thirty black and white lines that they came in the store. Yeah, it's uh it doesn't start with thirty thousand though. The barcode is zero on the right side on the left hand side and then it's five 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 seven seven. Alright, I'm I'm okay. Um Okay, so sorry, I was in the wrong system. I apologize to you, sir. Yeah, I know what a barcode is. Five five seven seven and then five numbers after that. One zero seven nine nine seven. On the back, the back or it'll be like four numbers, then like a letter or two. Okay, so eleven twenty C Z nine zero three. That was exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Now, now there was um, this disc that you saw. Was it similar in size or shape to the product itself? Not really. No. It's slightly. It's slightly larger. And uh, it's just a really like stiff, like hard, like object. Does it appear to be like plastic, or does it appear to be from food material? Or so weird, man. And it definitely sounds weird, and I'm very sorry. I can tell you that we do have an elaborate screening process. 
for all of our products, and if something like this certainly should be caught before it gets into the final product. Obviously, you know, it's like, like I said before, it's something that we can take very seriously. And I can tell you that all those letters and numbers that you gave me from the packaging, that will allow us to figure out exactly where this was made, what line it was produced on, how it was shipped, you know, all of those details. Okay, because those are all pretty important, because I don't, you know, it may be like some sort of, you know, if you have like items like like wood items or, or construction items like in the factory that maybe something like just fell onto it. I mean, something like foreign type object or something. But it's weird, man. It's weird, Michael. And again, I apologize. But um, what I'd like to do now is get your name and your mailing address. With that, I'd be more than happy to send you a couple replacement coupons. All oh, right, on. That's okay. Um, my name is Kevin. That's Toronto. Yes. Okay. Well, once again, I thank you for taking the time to give us a call today, and uh, you know, like, I'll send the report over to our quality assurance team, and I will also send you the replacement coupons that should arrive in about a week. Okay, and is there like I don't know? Do you do you do you tell me like what happens with this like complaint? Do you give me an update and tell me like, do I get like an apology for like cutting up your gums and like, you know like, making you really concerned about like, products like from Quaker and like things like that? You will receive a response from us in the mail that includes the coupons. Um, coupons. Okay. Um, that's as far as the action goes. If you see something like crazy weird in your packaging, it's just like, oh, we'll send you some coupons, and that's that's what's good. I mean, that was the plan. You know, we are very sorry about what happened. And like I said, you know, it is something we take seriously. That's where I got all that information from the bag, so we can figure out what plant it was made at, what line it was produced on, and all those details that we need to, um, you know, run like a check on this. All right, man. Cause like. For real, like I buy, I buy a few like bags of these every week, and that, and like I don't want to like stop buying them like because of this. Like I really like how they taste and stuff, but at the same time, like customer loyalty and things like that. I mean that can that can build up quick, but then it can can also be broken like quite easily, man. And I'm just I'm just concerned. Like it's weird. It's like okay, give me your address, and like it's on. But it's yeah. I don't know, man. I was just. I was like concerned for like my safety and my my health like when I saw that and like is the rest of my the bag that that I ate okay because it was like in the packaging with this item is that do you know what I mean sure I, I certainly is that is that a saying. valid is that a and valid complaint is, you know and I, and I understand that which is why again we're replacing it you know um, so that you don't lose money on something like this of course and and, and then I'm even sending you a couple extra coupons. Um, just as you know, as, as part of an apology and as part of a, an, an appreciation of our gratitude. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, I guess I guess that'll do. I mean, I'm just you know, I'm glad I'm okay. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad okay. And, okay you know, we'll see. Very, I mean, that's obviously the most important. Thing. Definitely. All right, Michael. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for your call, Kevin. Bye. Wow, people with jobs, it's got to suck.